the Dubai Duty Free is next. This is nine furlong group one for the four year olds and upwards at the top. We've got Akalas Tatlin for David Robertson, Devil's Apprentice Jim Murray, one for Craig Allen, Proud Tarquin, Kevin Minhan, Sidium, Larty Lidham, Slay Melon, Darren Thompson, Zinji Place. Vinnie Gerard, Diamond Sue, Alex Cherry, Elderberry Symphony, Dan Hughes, and Fort Apache, Leon Van Rensburg. Ten of them in this then. On the turf again and ready to go. And away we go. A little bit slow out there with City and Diamond Sue wasn't all that sharp either, but Fort Apache and Slay Millen. Of the two that have gone on, expect to see Sidium come through to take the lead now, and indeed he does. So Sidium then proving that thing, slowly away for us into the lead, and right over on the far side, Slay Mellon on the rail is disputing that lead now. It's Slay Mellon on the rail with over on this near side, Sidium, the ground, that one's outside is Elderberry Symphony. Jim Murray's black and red of Devil's Apache is also now interested in the lead, as too is the other grey, and that one is the David Robertson horse, Akalas Tatlin into the back, Zinji Place is still just the back marker. Well, they pass the sixth pole and it's Slay Mellon who's now got a clear lead of two lengths or so. So Devil's Apprentice in second and Elderberry Symphony in third. Then One Force and Akalas Tatlin and then Ford Apache. Then comes Brad Tarquin and Sidium with Diamond Sue and finally Sinji Place as they start this long sweeping turn back towards home. The Race getting out of the business end very quickly. There's only four furlongs still to go. And it's Slay Mellon in the lead from the Grey Elderberry Symphony who's throwing down a challenge in second. Ford Apache has gone through with that one. Akalas Tatlin is also trying to come through. So too is Sidium. That one's got work to do. He's got to get himself boxed in on the inside. Zinji Place is trying to caught the centre of the track. But it's still Slay Mellon in the lead. Slay Mellon's in front from Akalas Tatlin in second. And Ford Apache is third. Then Devil's Apprentice. Sidium boxed in. Then comes Elderberry. Symphony and one force and Zinji Place and finally Tam Proud Tarquin as they come down towards the furlong pole now then. and it's Slay Mellon who's still in the lead from Akalas Tatlin in second then Ford Apache Devil's Apprentice Diamond Sue's trying to run on but they're not going to get to this Slay Mellon I don't think Slay Mellon is holding them pretty cosily here and up towards the line Slay Mellon takes it Akalas Tatlin in second Ford Apache Devil's Apprentice and Zinji Place and then one force and Elder Symphony and all the way back to Proud Tarquin was the last one to finish but a pretty easy win there from Darren Thompson's Slay Mellon never really got challenged at all in throughout the race so Slay Mellon the winner for Darren Thompson Akalas Tatlin was second for David Robertson Ford Apache Leon Van Rensburg third Devil's Apprentice Jim Murray was fourth and Zinji Place for Vinnie Gerard was fifth